So we've got OnRobot's dual quick changer here and, and OnRobot's big value proposition is being able to plug and produce quickly so we're not reinventing the wheel. And the way they're able to achieve that is through their quick changer and the technology built in. So mechanically, it's a simple push button release that lets you disconnect it. Uh, one side of the tool has a uh, just a clevis kind of deal that hooks onto the bar and then it also has the electrical interface here so it's a single cable connection no matter if we have one tool or two that goes back to the robot controller to put it back on we just hook that bar and snap it into place and then within a second or so the robot knows what tool is connected and it also knows which functions it has available to it same thing on this side with the rg2 if i take it off we look at this back side that the robot side of the tools uh, are all the same. So they have the same mechanical interface, the same electrical interface. So the, the uh, collection of tools that, that OnRobot has all have that same sort of setup. So we're here today with the Eskawa HC10 and an OnRobot dual quick changer setup. We've got OnRobot's RG2 servo gripper and we've got their VG10 vacuum gripper here in our dual quick changer setup. And this is gonna simulate a case packing application in which we use the gripper to, to pick the parts to put them in a simulated box. And then the vacuum, the VG10 is gonna go pick slip sheets and create those different levels. So the dual quick changer here is a manual quick change. So it's got a simple quick release button on it. And then the, the power signals and IO signals all pass through uh, the pins that are inside of the quick changer housing. The quick changers also have um, fixed settings that will allow you to change the angle of the grippers. So it's a 30 degree increment for the RG2 that can switch back and forth. And then with the VG10, it's actually sectioned into channels A and B, so you can run one half of this independent of the other half. And you also have settings in their uh, simple web interface software that allows you to vary the amount of pressure and uh, vacuum force that you're using. 